Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Braggio. Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week <laughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's begin with Ben. Uh, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, went to locals on Tuesday. Uh, I ended up coming second. Well, no, I came third because of resistances. Points. Yay. I lost the final. I played six Samurai FTK though. Uh, deck is firing on all cylinders. Uh, lost to a uh, main deck Ghost Ogre, which I was like, <laughs> sick. This feels oddly targeted. Um, but yeah, other than that, deck go- works really well. Um, plays through one hand trap with ease. Um, the second hand trap can be where you get unstuck. Uh, but yeah, anytime you can consistently make the negation on your third summon, you're like, I think I just win. Um, there was a time when Logan was like stalling me and was like, can he play through two hand traps though? And I was like, you don't have two hand traps. And eventually I was like, in I go. I win now. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, but yeah, overall, deck's fun. I'm going to definitely mix it into my rotation a lot more often. Hmm. Um, but yeah. What were using as tokens for, for, sorry, as damage? Oh my God. Counters? Counters. I was using dice. Boo! Yeah. Someone on, someone on the UK Open uh, using 5 yen pieces. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. That's cool. It looked real good too. Did he just like dump out his 5 yen pieces? Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, he's building it up. Okay. That's neat. That's neat. Good work. Were they playing FTK or like the hand loop board? Uh, I didn't watch that long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go find that. Good work, whoever that was. Brag, how was your week? Uh, whole lot of Tempire Master Jewel. This, oh my god. Once again, we'll get to it. But, <clears throat> yeah, Jewel, uh, the Tri... It's not a cup, what is it? Festival? Yeah. Festival? Yeah. Tri-Festival? Huh? What's it called? Tri-Festival? Uh, the Triangle. Triangle. Dual triangle. triangle. Jewel Triangle, that's it. <laughs> if I... Ancient Gears... <laughs> they're so shit they're shit but just every now and then there's like a, oh crap I can't out this and then I feel bad for losing to Ancient Gears like I'll just surrender I'll go to bed I'll lie in bed because my sleep my sleep has been terrible this last week and so I'll try and get a nap out here every here and there and I'll wake up and look at the surrender screen and go my life you'll have more context as to why that comes up in just a moment otherwise uh, yeah Tempo goes okay not as okay in Jewel triangle, but it's what I built, so that's what I'm going to use, and I'm going to get my gems back with it. And I have. I will also give you some clarity on that. I am here to help. Um, my week. So, uh, Tuesday I was playing 60 card Terror Element Light Sworn Fiendsmith. Um, but today I changed it up uh, just a tiny bit, um, and I was playing Tier Element Paleo. Um, but I will have to do some more fine tuning on it because to play all the cards that I wanted, it was still a 60 card list and it just doesn't work as a 60 card list because not enough stuff's getting into grave. Um, also don't have the best quality of trap targets in there at the moment because it was built very, uh, rushed this morning. So filter it down a bit, change up the trap lineup and then everything should be fine. Oh yeah. Do you want to dig again? this afternoon do you need need the card still i i would very much like the card do i need the card probably what not card? elemental burst yeah oh, i've gone and gone <gasps> yeah yeah <laughs> well, that's a whole lot simpler than the, like, di- the, I, like the... I just i knew the, the mystery card that you needed I'm excited. all like so we put off friday night like jake is here jake wants to look through cards we won't tell anyone Ben already knew. Yeah. Well, yeah, I said Paleo tier, so... Yeah, you're putting, you're putting cards in Grave that can then be resolved by your rollback. Mm. It's, a, it's a bond. Yeah. I'm... yeah. Uh, and then, the for myself in the dual triangle... Wait, can that resolve... Hmm? The elemental bond resolve with Dragon Rolls? Is it those typings? Yeah. That requires? Pretty sure, yeah. It's dragon Roll support. Hmm. Oh, I'm playing Dragon Rolls in Tempo as well. You def- there's definitely room to play some extra stuff given that you lose out some stuff. I need more ways to banish Blaster. Gold Sark to three, please. 
Didn't it just go to two in Master Duel? Yeah, it's not enough. <laughs> Um, so for myself in uh, the dual triangle, um, be, like I could have put together Diamond? some more <laughs> interesting spell, spell decks, spell. but what I ended up with was uh, branded tier element because both the decks were nerfed in God, such a way. You're really pushing the creativity there. I uh, know. I'm so I'm so out there, guys. Well, a I don't really feel like playing Sword Soul in there because it'll just be like Baron or Bust. Because you don't have the tempires to do stuff with. You know what tempire almost is as well. Um, I didn't really want to. Well, I, did, I don't have really any other synchro decks to play, so I wasn't going to do any of those. Uh, and uh, from all accounts that I have seen, Xyz is the least represented side of the triangle. I think last I looked, it was like twenty-two percent of players are choosing to play Xyz. You're normally the Xyz player. How do you run in your fucking... You're going to have to make a choice. Am I the Xyz player or am I the fusion no, guy? Normally, I can't be both. Normally, in this exact situation, you play Xyz to prove a point. Because you always will be like, well, they're doing this tournament where I could play this these purple cards. But no. I will play Time Thieves. So here's the thing. It's just that I like Time Thieves. You scrapped it's your Time not Thieves, didn't you? Have, what? You no, scrapped it's your still time there. Oh, okay, okay. Um, sure. I haven't had to scrap an entire deck Wait. for a very long time. Why is it a triangle then? Exes synchros fusions. Oh, no links in the diamond. Uh, no links are very oh, much. Hang on. Yeah, no, links are links. very much Sorry. in the triangle. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh I'll yeah, Xyz is uh, yeah, it's real, real shit. It's real low. No, sorry, I got confused. That was the last dual triangle. Yes. Was Xyz synchros fusions? This one subs, swaps the Xyz with the links. So Lynx is the least represented in oh, there. That's, that's and, surprising. All, and and Orcus doesn't work without Dingisu, so I didn't try. <laughs> and I would hazard a guess that of those 16% of players, the 100% of the 16% would be playing Sky Striker. Because <laughs> it's the only Link deck I've seen. Oh, that's a lie. I've seen a little bit of Tri Brigade. Could you not just do Snake Eyes? No, I'm pretty sure they would have benched, um, bent stuff. I think I went to look at that. Oh, Snake Eyes is a fusion deck, don't you talk about. So, um... It's a synchro deck. It's whatever deck you want it to be. It can do everything, but it's... not ritual. It's got a fusion monster, it's a fusion deck now. Not yet. This is why Ben wasn't worried about the open windows, because he was going to do that. Well, yeah, we can... now I'm glad the window's open. Well, yeah, for us. Mm. Stinky boy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's all that's going on. So, um, as mentioned, there is the dual triangle, which is uh, not Xyz, as it turns out, uh, but links, synchros, and fusions. Um, this time around, they do let you do loner decks. One of them is Ancient Gear. That's probably why Bragg is facing so much Ancient Gear. Because right. people just slap it on the board. Yeah, then they, they slap one that can't be unaffected by it. It's unaffected by card effects. And it's like, oh, no. well, I've got to get through I this. ain't running guide use for this. <laughs> so, um, obviously, there's a fairly extensive ban list. A lot of the floodgate cards are gone and all that kind of thing. One of the interesting ones that they banned was Maxi. Yep. And? Uh, Maxi is almost compulsory in Tempai. Because there's only so many board breakers you play before you have to actually see a combo piece to play. Yeah, we had Tempai worked here and we didn't have Maxi. Yeah, but we also had best of three. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> well, it's, wor it's worked. Like, sometimes they get punished for having, like, absolute shit hands, but for the most part... I mean, if they don't have Maxi, I don't have Maxi, and that's kind of okay. Exactly. I yeah, know. The, exactly. the absence of Maxi makes me very happy playing Branded to you. Yeah. Throw all the shit down that beat. Still gets ass washed. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, well that's the thing. The brand of fusion is almost a bait because I just want everything else to resolve. Oh. Uh, but just on that, uh, so the assets that you get for this particular event, um, there's not really a lot on offer this time around, no. um, despite having like a very extensive ban list and having to do the coding so that different decks have different restrictions, all that kind of thing, whatever, whatever. I think the only thing you get is triple tactic sleeves. What about those sleeves? Well, those are worth Th it. These you buy elsewhere. Oh. 
You buy them? Yeah. Gross. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so, yeah, at the same time, they did release new sleeves, the Flower Cardian Maple Oh, deer. that's where, that's when they oh, turned up. the Flower Cardian. I was like, they've done, like, an Aturia monster in a, in a Flower Cardian form. I, I quite like that. But it's just a Flower Cardian It's card. just a Flower Cardian card. Okay. Although you could theoretically call it that little earth tuna deer thing yeah, that people used to make nap that's beasts. that's the thing. Uh, and Ooh. then there's an uh, Maple Maiden icon surround. It's autumn. Yeah, it's very much autumn, but it says Maple Maiden. It is autumn in North America right now, or Northern Hemisphere. Yes. Fall. That's why we're getting all of this autumn support. Fall. Yes. Speaking of support, we have so much this week. Uh, so I'm going to start with a one for Ben, which is the Gem Knights. The oh, Gem Knights getting support in here. the Terminal World 2. I wasn't sure if we'd start here or the other place. Um, so... Foreshadowing. The four archetypes are now confirmed, seemingly. Uh, Necros. Uh, Necros. Could also be Gishki. Hmm. Could be. Anyway, uh, Necros slash Gishki, but probably Necros. Um, Gem Knights. <laughs> the, they're going to three trap cards. That's going to be the three Necros cards. I mean, depending on what they are, that could be fine. Um, Jurak and the Fabled. We already so, had the Jurek and Fabled cards revealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, admittedly, I haven't read a great deal of these cards. So The Gem Knight cards? Yeah. So, the the key thing is on the monster that's really, really good, there's a little line that says any battle da any effect damage your opponent takes this turn is harmed. Because uh, the regular monster was insane until you read that point. Mm. Um, it's like on the summon, you get a dump, I think, or you get an add, and then... It then also summons itself back if it's if another one is sent. Um, so there's yeah, there's a lot of ways you can kind of oh that's um, move it in and out. Gem Knight construct, yeah. Yes, Gem Knight construct. It's it's a very very good card. Uh, the fusion is also quite good. However, it just doesn't really have enough good targets. It's one of those cards you print to make other cards that weren't busted busted, but those other cards don't exist. So now they're <laughs> not going to print those cards. Like, I think best case scenario, you get a bounce off it for something, something Tourmaline. I think it's Tourmaline, the Aqua. Um, so you get a bounce off that somehow. Um, and then the other monsters in a gate, but it requires you to control the fusion, so it's a bit kind of like, uh... You also have to banish four cards for it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This deck is now just a Protoss deck. You now just uh, ah yay! Yes. You make Protoss so, and you couldn't call so legacy anything. support does two things now. It either cheats out the old synchro that was very bad, or it turbos into a it's very a annoying test. floodgate. Yes, yay! Yes, <laughs> this game's so good, guys. Uh, it's effectively a Protoss deck that can summon any attribute you want to call whatever you want. Can that just uh, not be a thing? Can can we so, not just? make decks to turbo our floodgates can highly, we stop that highly effective deck highly effective you reckon protoss is in any of the decks like that is when they do testing in r d like do you think they just <laughs> they just leave it off like they just forget sorry, it sorry sorry <laughs> sorry i wasn't sure if you were joking or not when you said r d roger and Je roger and derek are there's someone alive. that claims roger to do and it. derek are dead no they're still alive they, they made these cards. The light is on in Roger and Derek's testing area, but they died so long ago. No, and no here. one's entered that room to check. They're still here. They're hanging out. Hanging out. They <laughs> killed themselves. Yes. <laughs> Hanging's an operative word there. Ah, uh, look. look. Some, like, they have to. It's... They on. really don't. And they've shown that so many times. Yeah, because they keep leaving cards behind. They played the other... They... Played with the other uh, Gem Knight cards they released and were like, huh, these would have been passable if we just kind of made them not lock you to Gem Knights? Let's make better cards this time. So again, I'm happy that these cards exist. They don't facilitate the scythe of Gem Knights that I like to play, which is stop your opponent. But it does take me back to uh, the time in COVID playing online locals when you used to just play as many floodgates as you could in Gem Knights. Where you'd like block dragon, resolve a couple of different things, and add emancipators, and then like nap beast, barky on an appaloosa, and then some other shit. Those were the days. They really weren't. Those were the days. <laughs> Those days sound awful. Making my opponents sit through my while I'm dueling with friends. 
simulator to yeah simulator dueling from the simulator we'll get to that well yeah we couldn't duel with friends in person so we had to yeah simulate had... dueling with friends yes has anyone done the survey on the no oh the vr survey uh, yeah yes <laughs> to most of it it's like i would like this but i don't have a vr thing <laughs> and i got 20 gems yeah. I, am, I am buying a VR unit. Oh. Mm. Mr. YouTube Money's going to buy a YouTube I said unit. I ain't buying. Ah. Mr. Mind, YouTube then. Money's not buying it. <laughs> 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 Mr. YouTube Money's making smart investments. <laughs> Moving on to the more exciting support for me. August. August support getting announced in the quarter century Trinity box. So we have two links. Uh, one is a link one. One is good. The other is... Uh, it's not bad. It's a. It's just a heavy investment. Yeah, it, it seems pretty neg to get there. Like, it's better than the other link three they have. Four. Oh, it's a link four? Yeah, this is a link four. Oh, it's better than... It's definitely better than Orchestra. 100% better than yeah, Orchestra. Yeah, shit's all over that. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't hate it. Like, I, I as I said, it is a big investment to make it, but it does... It, with the right setup, it can do some cool shit. There was one time when I was playing against Orcus, and I was kind of concerned, and then my opponent made Orcostrum, and I was like, oh, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, you're dumb. Oh, I'm going to win. Awesome. You could have just kept your control board. That would have been a trouble, but instead you wanted to combo to this. I'm I'm actually glad that they redid the Link 4 because Orcostrum was such a fucking letdown. It's so uh, but anyway, so the Link 1, uh, Galatea 1, the Orcus Automaton. Uh, Link 1 Dark Machine needs an Orcus or a World Legacy monster. Um, should point out the token that Gisu summons is a World Legacy token, so you can make it off the token. Mm. Um, so, uh, can then use its effects uh, once per turn. Uh, it can't be used for an XZ summon, so you can't effectively make a Ding Gisu off a token, mm -hmm. uh, which is fair. Uh, send one card from your hand to the graveyard at a World Legacy Monster or Orchestrated Babble from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, banish one other Orcus card from your graveyard, special summon this card. Um, from all the replays I've seen, because um, Babble was on the field, uh, the Link 1 can activate off turn to give you extra material. Well, I wouldn't have been against if you could just use this to make the Xyz. If this was allowed to be... It's probably a little aggressive. Like, yeah, but... At the moment, you can already yeah. just go normal summon gears who summon the token link to then make the thing. Yeah, I know, but that it's can literally be just taking a bit one more body disrupted. off your board. It's just taking one body off your board. That's um, it. And then the other thing I noticed as well, watching back on the replays, um, because it hasn't really come up in Orcus before, it can banish the otherwise redundant spells and traps, so orchestrated return, and if you happen to have orchestrated... Um, Orcus Crescendo just chilling in the graveyard. Isn't it can Crescendo banish those. Mm. Yes, it does. But uh, the Link 4 can then recycle it from Banished. Okay. Oh. Sure. So, yeah, the Link 4, um, Ellen Gisu, the Orcus Mech Knight. Um, fun fact this will never be summoned in Mech Knights. Um, Why not? Because uh, the they can't other one is. <laughs> they can. They very much can. You just need your the, opponent to play four cards. The, no, Ben. Fuck you, Cold. shut up. Cold. The Link 4 that already exists for Mech Knight is way better. Sure. So. I'll believe you on that. Uh, two plus monsters, including an Orcus Link monster. Target one of your banished Orcus or World Legacy cards added to your hand, and you can shuffle one card from your hand into the deck to take control of one face up once your opponent controls uh, permanently. Uh, and then during the main phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there from the extra monster zone this turn, Banish it, send one card on the field to the graveyard. Hmm. Doesn't target. Doesn't target. Which is cute. Also doesn't care, like it doesn't do it at the point that it's sent. It's just during the main phase. Yeah. So if someone does a board wipe, it's chilling in grave, and then end of main phase, you just go, whoop. Well, all I can hope is that uh, Chamber Dragon Maze Dragon Form is as decent. As, if it's just remotely as decent as this support, it's fine. Mm. Yes. The leaked uh, dragon form that I saw is bullshit. There's no way. If that if that is the card's effect, it's fucking insane. It would literally you just be a hand know. trap for every deck. You never know. Um, 
And then again, important to highlight that this can also recycle the spells and traps as mentioned before. Yep. So you now can put back your um, counter trap to then like just yep. effectively yep. do what Salad did with Ash and just keep looping a counter trap. Yeah. Very fun. Uh, and then another bit of support that we had was for Six Sam, uh, a really great card. Ben, tell us all about it. Dog shit. <laughs> Next card. <laughs> that is so far away from what that deck needed, and it has no reason to exist. Yep. Um, if you can activate this trap, you should have already won the game. Yeah, it is very much a why have you not already won card. Yep. Uh, so in the OCG, they did a stream over the weekend, um, and we got two new groups of support. The first one is for Glad Beast. Um, so I won't read through all of these. Um, one of the bad support. No, yeah. no, it's very good support. Um, mm, very good. The fusion requires too much material. Yeah. From replays I've seen of it, it's actually very easy to get that yeah. material into grave. Yeah. yeah, I think it's maybe one or two more than you probably want to, though. I mean, I think if you're bringing that down, it might definitely three would be off the cards. Four maybe like, is more reasonable. Considering like all that payoff is two battle phases. It has an on-field on effect as well yeah, to no. cheat out shit. But like the two battle phases is like it's good, but five material seems like a lot. At least it's five material from BIM. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like you've already used that stuff, you're recycling like, bits. Glad Beast is fragile enough that getting five material of BIM can be difficult through hand traps. Hmm. Uh, the replays and things again that I've seen, like they need a, a Never trust the replay, traps. Jake. Always trust people. Because they'll be like, okay, guys, here's my combo. Uh, specifically through these hand traps, though, like, uh, don't, don't, we're not talking about I don't about know. Other ones. I, think, I think you're a little bit too harsh on it. I think it's quite good. Um, the Link 2 is also quite impressive as well. Um, being able to. The Link 2 is legitimately the one card I didn't translate. Um, well, why don't I read it now? No. Uh, why I don't not? know. No, read it, please. Yeah. Outvoted. No, 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 Four. There's no oh, vote okay. here. Just want the viewers at home to know that I skipped over the cards that I thought were good. Uh, Gladiator. Takes red everything. You yeah. skipped over the cards yeah, that you thought were good? Yeah, I didn't read the effects of any of the Gemini cards. I just uh, gave a quick little rundown. Oh, God. That's it because you're the only one who cares about Gemnites. No. I've had Are multiple you? viewers message yeah, yeah. me this ask for Gemini advice. And good advice? No, nah, it was alright advice. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was good advice that I gave. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, we would have read through this effect already if you'd stopped bitching, but here we are. Uh, Gladiator Beast Darius, uh, two monsters including a Gladiator Beast monster. If this card is linked summoned, activate this effect. You cannot use monsters as link material for the rest of the turn except Gladiator Beast monsters. Also, special summon a level 4 or lower Glad Beast monster from your hand or graveyard. Or if your opponent controls a monster, special summon a Glad Beast monster from your deck instead. It's not actually called Gladiator Beast Darius, is it? Jake's just stuff uh, the name? Dureos, if you prefer. Dureos. Okay. Yeah, cool. Because Dureos already, not already exists. Already exists. <laughs> yeah. Close enough. Uh, glad based monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects during mm. your opponent's battle phase. Oh, Christ. Yeah, whatever. Maybe we shouldn't have talked about it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, saving from... Ba it turns off Tenpai. Oh, no. The Link's in attack position. <laughs> anyway. And then... Uh, what was the other one? It was... There we go. Arcana Force. Um, oh. The, I guess, headline of this particular archetype is that uh, they're now also a fusion deck because no. uh, Konami lazy. What's um, GX? Must be just a special summoned from no. the extra deck by sending the above cards from oh, either field to the, the graveyard. Uh, if this card is special summoned, toss a coin. Uh, head special summon mm. level 10 Arcana Force monster from your hand or deck ignoring summon conditions. Mm. Tails, add a card that has a coin toss effect from your deck to your hand. The ignore co coin toss card is now way easier to fetch now, yeah? Yes. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and then a second effect, uh, your opponent cannot activate monster effects on the field while light barrier is in the field zone. No. Yeah. Woo! Calamity's back, baby, and he's purple. It's just monster effects there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of your removal is still alive. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't matter because your turn skipped. Uh, and then we also got some premiere cards that are going to be coming out in Master Duel first. Uh, for whatever oh, reason, yeah. the link oh, that. Yeah. The last time we got this, it was not. It was not good for us. And it's not. It's not related uh -huh. to the bloody Halloween. Wait, um, is it not just pendulum. another princess? No, no. Oh God, no. <laughs> In it's no, far worse than I that. I think it was taken of every year they just released a princess for a different type. 
No. Uh, Being so, the previous princess? Yeah, yeah give, a, give us a water princess. A new princess. Yeah, water, wear water princess. Yeah. Ban, then after a year, you ban water princess and release wind princess. Um, but yeah, these cards are phenomenally worse than uh, princess. They are trick or treat themed. No, we're not reading these. Yeah. But, but the but, headline of them is that they are integrating them into Master Duel before their official release as like a special event for Halloween. So um, that's just a nice thing I mean, that they've it's done. It's going to be close for OCG. I'm pretty sure it comes out the same day. Princess, princess came out like a week later as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, like they're, they're pretty funny. They're going, oh, trick or treat, you choose. Like, like with the Valmonica stuff. I like that type of stuff in a, in a game. In a competitive game, it is terrible. It's the kind of shit that'd be great if like you you had a version of Commander. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I play the trick or treat deck. Uh -huh. Commander format when. When will we get a uh, a group of people together to eventually ruin a game? How, how much life do we need to give for Yu-Gi-Oh Commander to be something you can do? Is it do we legitimately have to have forty thousand life? For you, you mean that it makes sense? Would it not just be the deck master rules? Would it not be double? <laughs> Double's too easy to kill someone. Triple. <laughs> I still think triple is maybe too easy to kill someone. Yes. Well, it would be... It would still be Highlander though, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, just restrict some of the more generic shit. 40 card archetypal Highlander. Archetypal Highlander. Yeah, choosing um oh, cause oh there is oh, there is a oh, someone's tried it where it has to share either the attribute or the type or the archetype. Hmm. And it's like all the attack and defense. Where does that come up? What was what's the format called? But yeah, whoever designed that format, well done, but no, sorry. You know what place that does come up? I'm mm. waiting to you be able to read mm. the card that's on your screen right now. Mm. But we're having a lovely conversation. Oh, is it lovely? <laughs> well, this Someone's going to post it in the Discord. They, they figure out rules for multiplayer year. Yeah, that's true, actually. If you do have alternate formats that you've come up with before, feel free to drop it in the Discord. Uh, I so, won't acknowledge them if I think they're boring. You won't acknowledge them at all. You only go into Discord when someone tags you. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. So... Uh, one of the bigger pieces of news through the week. Uh, through the week, announced this is yesterday. Yeah, I know. Well, through, you still compare it to the week. <laughs> Such I'm, a fucking bitch on Sundays. What I, is your problem? I apologize. I haven't come up with a cool name for this one yet. Because it's not a rock. True. Oh. It is not Rocky Hand Droppy, regrettably. This one is called Molchummy Nihilus. Uh, so it's a level 4 beast earth monster. He's a Nihilus. <laughs> Such a good movie. Keep going. So this one, uh, special summons from... Oh, draws cards rather when your opponent special summons from Grave and or Banished. Uh, but has the same 6 plus shuffle backy thingy. Yes. So Malice sucks now. Hmm. It was good that this, we got a Malice Hand Trap. Well, the thing is, this will be, I would argue, the least played of the three. What? No I think way, be, this is second. Yeah, there are definitely going to be formats where this card is better than Mulchami Purulia. Oh, 100%. But, like, I would say, in a blind format, I'd argue that Purulia is probably going to get played more. Like, obviously, Full Aros is going to be, think, like, 100%. Yeah. But the other thing I was thinking of with these is now that there's three of them, your main deck slash side deck is anywhere between four to nine of these floating around. Yep. I would argue that this card is better than Multami Plurulia now. This card mm -hmm. gets you three draws minimum against Snake Eyes. Mm -hmm. Which Plurulia gets you three at max. Even that's pushing it. Yeah. That's if they have the Yarble Star. Yeah. But if you have Plurulia and... Nihilus against the Cyburst deck, you're also drawing quite a lot. Yeah. Or oh. I think this card's still pretty damn good. Yeah. I just find it funny that like you could be playing up to like between like four and nine of these in your side deck, so then like what the fuck else is your side deck? Well, I mean that's <laughs> that's the the end goal, I guess. Just uh an extra deck. Like there will be formats where this one and Perulia 
just don't get played because you need to side deck other shit. Wouldn't you just main deck him? It depends if you have a space in the main deck. Well, I mean, just make it now. Just go up to 60 cards. And you just have all these fucking useless hand traps the second you draw for turn. This going from both ban... I, I was expecting it to be split. I didn't think it would combine both. That means we can't get a fourth now? Yeah, like, uh... Special summons from Continuous Spell and Trap Zone. Oh! <laughs> Mold Charmy <laughs> fucks Centurion! <laughs> <laughs> How long until we get the next Mulchami, which is for spell activations and one for trap <gasps> activations? Oh my god. Each time your trap activates a spell or trap card during the turn. Yeah. Is, the, is the next one spell and trap activations? You almost wouldn't want to activate it against some decks. Like, if you activate it against Runic, you just die. Mm. They only get eight activations. <laughs> yeah, but they're also banishing cards from you in the meantime. Draw eight. I think... No, you're fine. Why did um why did full loss go? Cuts back. Full loss should have been split as well. Like this is so. Well, look. I mean, maybe they do spell it like spell activate. Like they'll do. Full well, loss definitely should have been split. That should yeah. have been main deck and extra egg. Yeah. Full loss should have been main deck and grave, and then the other one should have been extra deck and banish. Nah. Splitting is weird. Yeah. Look, this is. Oh well. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it, and it's hilarious. It's definitely the second best one. I was expecting it, and I'm not surprised in the slightest. <laughs> yeah. We, we talked about it. The only thing that surprised no, me about this... Like, that is not wrong. Yeah, the only thing that surprised <laughs> me about this was the Beast. Because now I'm stuck on the name. Beast. The Beastie Hand Feast? Yeah. <laughs> Something about that seems wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got some product announcement from oh, the... Oh, you said Nihilus, not Nihilus. He did say Nihilus, yes. Yeah. It's Can Nialis. it not be Nihilus? Well, no, it's Nihilus. Why? Because it's... Yeah! It's... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm ironic. I guess... I yeah. guess... I guess I've been proven wrong by... Yeah? yeah. So, moving right along, we have some product announcement from the OCG as well. Premium Pack 2025. Uh, so, from... We only know the packaging so far What's and the release date? maybe the release date. Uh, nope, never mind. Oh. We don't have a release date. Um, so of maze? Hmm? No, oh, that's not I, what I'm I talking about. You listening. jumped ahead. I wasn't listening. What was I this? said? OCG. This is Premium, Premium Pack, Pack 2025. So we'll be maze. No, maze. No, Chronicle. we have maze set. Maze, maze is, is locked in. Yeah. So uh, from the box artwork, uh, we know that we're getting a Crowley from Magistus, whether it might be an alt art or a new card. Uh, this next name is terrible. Um, I apologise. Uh, Wanko, <laughs> Noble oh. Knight of the Forest. I mean, also Crowley. Uh, a monster resembling uh, Spider Shark, the Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mystic Potato. Uh, Potato. Some form of Zoroa from the Magistus theme. That may also be. So much Magistus uh, support in here. Well, yeah, that was part of their chronicles for the year. Oh. They're doing the whole story on Magistus. That's where we got Spoon from. Do you remember Spoon? No. We spoke about Spoon. Okay. Crowley's to Spoon. He, he did. Um, yeah. Moon Kaiser, or oh, Motor that? Kaiser, rather. No idea what that is. Uh, and a monster resembling Titanic Galaxy. New Hope Yixies? Both of them are hopes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking here. I was like, wait, hold on. Are they not together? Yeah. I think they're next to each other in terms of the numbers. I think one's 42 and one's 43. Something like that. Um, but yeah, that'll be coming out for the OCG next year. So interesting to see when we get those and what we get. Square premium packs usually December's. So now for the TCG, while at... Yeah, it was it New York Comic Con, I think, this product was at? Or was it at a It YCS? was indeed New York uh, Comic Con. No, it was... Yeah, yeah. New York, New York Comic Con. Con. Uh, the Maze of the Master, releasing February 21st. So Master. before YCS. Very good release date. Um, so it's going to have 60 new cards. It's going to um, have one relevant card. Which is... Um, the Tachyon Search Spell. Yeah. The Tachyon Search Spell that makes Ryzeal... T1. Oh, you, of course. Vampire. Okay, sure. Yes. Um, so also you can search Lancia to beat the Banish deck. Hmm. 
Oh, what? It just searches level 5 lights? Uh, it searches, so you reveal a number between 101 and 109 and search a card that can be used as its material. Oh, so you just have a rank 5 in there somewhere yeah. to search uh, yeah. yeah, it's like a rank 5 light monster. Mm. Yeah, oh, you just okay. go, reveal! Oh, it'd be masquerade, wouldn't it? Now. Mm. Yeah. Sure. Um, I now have Lancia. So, the other cards that are in there, the TCG exclusives, uh, will seem to be a new theme uh, surrounding Odeon's uh, Trap Hell. Yeah. Uh, so, all these continuous trap monsters that he was using back looks in like a the new Battle Temple City. King. Uh, yep, looks Battle like, City Retrain. Looks like the fake Ra is in one of the artworks. Yes, that was also mentioned. The sort of flamey Ra that nearly killed Odeon. Also, the second picture was very helpful for us to see this. The first picture of it was horrendous. The first picture was dog shit. <laughs> like, Zoom. if you're taking so, photos of it at Comic Con, and that's. <laughs> Like, it's like someone took a picture of the display and went, oh, this is all pit stuff people know about. Yeah. And then, like, someone else had to go back the next day to be like, fuck, I gotta take a closer picture of this. Snap. God damn it, Brian, you useless bitch. Um, so what else have we got in there? Uh, the Perform Mages, the stuff from uh, Duelist of Brilliance, obviously, Tachyon, oh, yeah, Tuxar. Um... So we'll get the Errata for Plush Fire in here. Ooh, Seemingly. True. Yeah, yeah, because it's the jewel. So, which means pre-ban list for YCS, which we're we'll more probably getting anyway. In last year's maze pack, did we get the jewelers pack stuff, or did we just get what was the jewelers pack stuff? I don't remember last year's jewelers. Then I can't help you. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what was in last year's maze out of sight of bonfire and fucking um, the labyrinth stuff. But anyway, we're not getting a jewelers pack, so. But that was a TCG exclusive, not a reprint. What? What labyrinth stuff? The sewage infusion. Oh, wait, was, no, that, that was, was the one before. before. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Was that not the second one? No. No. Ah. Yeah. Because that, that, and you're right, that definitely that was, was Jules Pack. The, because then the second uh, one they called it the Maze flame, again, and we were the like, Flame Swordsman. Why? The Flame Swordsman was the TCG. Ah, oh, they that was it. And the Harmonic wasn't... Synchro Fusion, the Earth Bounce. Wait, Flame Swordsman wasn't in. It was the first one again. In a Jules Pack? They didn't have two TCG exclusive archetypes in the first fucking set. Not a fucking chance. Shit set could no. Anyway, <laughs> one was in one, the other was in the other. But um, harmonic synchro fusion was in the second one, which was the Earthbound Immortal stuff. Yeah, but was that the Animation Chronicles? I mean, it seems like it would be. Look, I've run, I've run out of care. All I know is <laughs> there were. I'm fresh out of fuck. Two good cards in there, and it was Bonfire, and it was Rollback, and they reprinted both of them inside of a year. Yeah, that is. So we can ignore this nice. set unless if you want to win a YCS, Sydney. Yeah, it is kind of necessary to get those tachyons as quickly as you can. So does that mean that you're both going to be on Raziel? Me? Uh -huh. No. Maybe. I don't know. The way you were hyping it up sounded like you were going to pivot over to Raziel. Well, no, I'm expecting Raziel to win YCS. I'm not playing the fucking thing. Huh. Because I need. Maybe. Because you need two sets of hand traps and seven tachyon. Between mm. now and then, which is not happening, so therefore, we pray to the forbidden one. When do we get? When do we? When do we? When do we... <laughs> I got this with you, buddy. When do we get? Um, I want to say the rock hand trap. When's fucking the next main set? It's January, yeah. Yeah, yeah, end of January. So that'll also be yeah. legal for our YCS. Yeah. Look, we're actually getting set the tachyon way later than the OCG got it. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get that card like six, seven months after you see you got it. Yeah, but we have it in... We have it in similar... In similar... Products? It's just timing a... to what the OCG got. So, because Razio thought... went two weeks without it, didn't it? Oh. And we, we, so we're going to go six weeks without it, but there's no tournament, so... Well, that's a lie. There's a YCS. There'll be Vegas, stuff. Vegas, isn't it? The 3v3? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Oh, God, that's tournament's going to be... So Mal... Oh, no, Malice won't win that. I'm so keen for next year. We'll it's going to be a mess. We'll see what happens. We, we will need a ban list to get rid of Snake Eyes first. Yeah. Ray, the Tachyon card compared to Razio release is like two months. In the OCG or now? Yeah, for, for us. us. Oh yeah, for us it is. Yeah, but yeah. that's fine. Like okay. uh, Razio's in December? Yes. Yes. Well, At the end of it. No. Uh, end of October. Oh, end, no. November, the, November, sorry. The 6th of December. <laughs> yeah. I'll worry about it when I get back from my holiday. Yeah. Uh, we've got a hint at a V jump coming out uh, oh, as yeah. of the seventh of uh, November. Uh, so this one is called Burial Bicorn Carnivorous. Um, it is a, 
level six synchro. It's a dinosaur. How do you know? It's covered over. Uh, this new synchro is cited to work very well with Durak. Dinosaurs eat plants. <laughs> Check mate, Lib. Surely not one that's called carnivorous. <laughs> plants are called carnivorous. Maybe he's eating plants at a carnival. Next thing. Next thing. OTS Pack 27 has been announced before we've even seen a 26. Now, Kurt's uh, over there really angry because he thinks this is a shit ulti. I think it's a fucking great ulti. Did we talk about the rarities of the first one? Shit. Of the other one? Of 26? Yeah, literally last week. Yeah, I don't remember. Were you here last week? Yes. Yeah, I thought I would have bitched about you, Bull. You bell. They look like shit. You bull. Yeah. Yeah, they look as, like as long as as long as we've I've gotten that on the record. I don't think we argued about them. <laughs> yeah, we like uh, we, <laughs> we argued about this in a group chat where I said they look like shit. Yeah, uh, at that time like we didn't know because they weren't available to see. Oh, you cuck! Now they look, look shit. <laughs> they've got the textured lines. Look like oh no, we're garbage. not talking about the supers. I like well, talking about all the rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I right. Have, and I tuned out of the first super. I therefore, have I tuned out the whole thing. A real problem Jesus with the Christ. fact that the art for Diablo Star the Black the Black Witch. Has has like a sh- some lighting shading in the background that runs on a fucking weird forty five degree slant. In the fucking ulti, they've just done vertical lines. Like fuck right off. Yeah. This is the most lazy way to foil this. Yeah. Mm. But anyway, for don't get me started. New Bell's random hand. For no, oh yeah, the the whole like low looks bad. Just just looks bad. There's not ri- enough going on in the background for it to really pop. Original U-Bell have an ulti? Mm, yes. Yes? Yes? Okay. I was going to say, otherwise they should have done that. Uh, and yeah, the Phantom of U-Bell, there's weird um, embossing, yep. um, a stray hand coming out of seemingly nowhere because of the way the embossing has been done. It's just bad. It's a bad choice. That's how the actual art is. Yeah, I know, but it's more... It's less noticeable and more preferable on the normal art because there's more definition within the art itself. When I, it's I in the think it's ultimate form, <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's just a shit art. <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. Anyway, um, back to OTS 27, which was where this conversation was actually supposed to be going. The ulti that they have announced is Sage with the Eyes of Blue. I think it's a good ulti. I actually probably maybe would have preferred fucking Priestess instead. Yeah, I think I would have. Here's the thing, though. Does Blue Eyes... Does, well, yes. I suppose because it is Blue Eyes, it does deserve high rarity cards on the fact that it is Blue Eyes. But, like, as a deck, if you took Blue Eyes out of it and you just said these are some dragons that do some stuff, does it deserve an ulti? Yes. Surprised we just didn't get one of the two original Blue Eyes arts as the ulti. Alternative ulti. They don't even play alternative. Yeah. I don't they, know. They, they've got a ghost. Look, this card is a normal summon that searches, I think, anything that that deck needs now, so, like, yeah. That deck by itself, that card by itself does a lot for the deck, so it's a good ulti. Was there there anything else hinted at on it? In the product page? Uh, No, not that I can say. Just Okay. Yeah. Uh, And then through the week as well, we got some more hints of what's coming out in Bonanza. Uh, so we're getting Cyberstan, uh, the, what's it called? Dark Magician, Girl, the Dragon Knight. I don't think that was uh, a necessary print. Just, no, probably not. Just kill the value some more. Uh, Card Trooper. Pretty, yeah. That's pretty much the only reason Card Trooper's good. Card Trooper's a good choice. Uh, Stratos. Kill some value though. Um, Stratos is, yeah. Stratos is fine. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Goyo Guardian. Um, the Not little right. blurb they hunted, had underneath Goyo yeah. makes it seem like they're gonna no. unarata it. No. The art, though, you can very clearly see it says no. Earth. Yes, I, I see this, no, the, 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 but they also the, tricked us with the art making us think that shit would be yeah, common. I get what you mean, but also the blurb was very much about him stealing the oh, opponent's right. monster. Hmm? The, the blurb's about Goyo stealing the opponent's monster. Which is what it does. Uh, that makes sense, too. Um, before we move... I do want to raise the fact that we're reprinting a band card. Cyberstone. Yes. Oh, yeah. May so, there be at least 50 other band cards reprinted in this. Yes. Would be nice, actually, if we got a whole bunch of, like, goat and um, thingy cards in there that, like... Like, the obvious ones, like Sangan and stuff like that, sure. But, like, if they printed stuff that's actually Ooh, not sorry. accessible anymore, would mm. be awesome. 
Yeah. Especially when it's fucking 200 yeah, cards worth. You think they'd be able to chuck some shit in there that people Put want. Put some metamorphosis in there. Monarch. Um, so yeah, just Kurt quickly as well. Monarchs. He'll maybe we'll get one, maybe two. Uh, so Cross Sangan, yeah. um, Skyscraper 2. Yeah. Um, That's a shit reprint. <laughs> yeah. Morphing Jar. Um, uh, you, so the, the, the blurb under the Skyscraper 2 is the linchpin of the magically competitive hero deck. No, it's not. Well, was you it, tell that to Jerome. Was it required in if, I say, if I ever see Jerome, I have so many things to tell him. Um, I didn't think so, no. I didn't think it was a linchpin. I think Stratos was the linchpin. Yeah, and they're already reprinting that. Shocking that Maybe the monster was the linchpin Maybe for the monster. Maybe Yeah, there's, there's a lot of other linchpins in the hero before the skyscraper. Kick him. Uh, Magician of Faith. You. And Jurak Gobaya. Gwaiba. Gwaiba. Which, Guaiba wasn't that good. I like, it was there. I don't think this is also What do you mean? He was part of the infamous Dino Rabbit deck. Yeah, when you didn't draw the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, they probably He was the Dino this, part! <laughs> they probably played this before Terminal World 2 got announced. But, like... Yeah. I think, I, I think that's probably not going to be a relevant reprint. Nah. I haven't looked into the Jurassic board enough to know, like, what it'd do. Just someone's mm -hmm. meteor twice. It's Nibiru. Yeah. Yeah. Now, finally, questions. If you weren't aware, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from Caleb. Uh, should he sell his kidney to buy a playset of Mortal Charming for Wallace? If so, left or right? Um, so the answer to that is no. Your kidney's worth more than a Fluoros. You could at least get... Three Fluoros mm. and Effect Veiler. Maybe your kidney. And Effect Veiler. <laughs> My kidney not fetching Just that much. one. Um, and maybe a packet of Pringles. So I think just three Fluoros is, is, is a low bar there. Get a little bit more. Um, as for left or right, uh, depends on how many fights you can see yourself getting into and what hand they're most dominant with. If they're mm. dominant yep. with right, sell your left. Always sell if your left. Because typically most people are right, and yeah, yeah, yeah. will so kick and punch you with the right. Yeah, yeah. But also, I imagine it'd still hurt quite a lot if they're <laughs> kicking into where it used to be a kidney. Uh, so, dealer's choice, really. Yeah. Um, it is kind of ridiculous how expensive that card is. Like, I get it to a point, but it's just a bit aggressive. Do we do a weekly eBay segment where we look up the price? Yes. Let's bring back Marga Watch. Yeah. We haven't done it in six years. Current lowest price to eBay. Let's go back to Marga Watch. Oh God, the market! It's yeah. on fire! <laughs> All those cards that we used to look at in Marga Watch must be real cheap. Uh, wait, are we doing that now or are you just... You keep going. Okay. Yeah, uh, next up. question is from uh, Brigio, whoever that is. Uh, do we think anyone at Konami has written smut relating to monsters like in Game Freak? Yes. Almost definitely. Yes. Except they uh, get to live out their fantasies and put scantily clad women on. Uh, yeah, we, we actually see the results of said smut. <laughs> yeah. It is fucking wild. This, like, I still haven't read it all and I refuse, but just the bits I've heard is like, what the fuck? May I say, so Typhlosion's getting dunked on, and rightfully so. Arceus gets away is getting away pretty scot free. I don't want. I don't know. It's Jesus. I don't want to know. Jesus got away scot free. Mm, it's closer to. He died twice. Uh, hey, spoilers! <laughs> I haven't finished the book yet. Um, no, it's. it's... <laughs> How did you know he got away scot free? The current hey. cheapest Mulchami on Australian eBay is two hundred fifty dollars. Hmm. That is dumb. What, what's our sold listings looking? It's our sold listings. But yeah, uh, no, Arceus is more like Mary. But, not a virgin. <laughs> they were probably so hopeful when those leaks came out that people just focused on the game content. And I can see a bunch of like content creators like focusing only on the upcoming game content. And they must be like contacting everyone that they, they can have, get onto, being like, "Please just talk about the content." It is a good chance they have the the full Legends game 
Oh, really? So not even just details of it. They've got like the there, entire a, game. Like that, the, the rumor is they have the next game and the leaker released the smut instead of... <laughs> we don't even know the starters of the next game. Someone has, a few people apparently played it. Okay. We don't know anything. We know that we know the sexual proclivities of a certain Pokemon. That's so Jerome, funny. maybe I think too little of you. Show us your inbox. <laughs> <laughs> I need that hard drive, Jerome, to vet that we aren't as degenerate. Well, I say we when um, I'm acting like I'm. Recent Who do you sold work for, listings. <laughs> oh. Recent sold listings uh, today have been moved. Oh, fuck. Someone bought one today for $290. <laughs> um, someone bought one about, by the looks of it, two hours later for $245. But the sold listings are around 250 I just can't. <laughs> Spending three quarters of a grand to get three pieces of cardboard is utterly ridiculous like if i was rich this wouldn't be a problem <laughs> i would but that's the but thing. i'm not rich <laughs> ah, that's fucked we'll start looking at ads oh yeah i'll go i'm gonna mention that Ooh. so what jake is getting at here is please sign up to our patreon so that he can afford some more charmies we brag and i will share them at this point you know he's not gonna shop to locals shut up <laughs> brag, brag wants them for tabletop testing and then you can use them for locals. Sounds like a deal. I, I can actually. I wouldn't mind them for YCS. No. Oh, oh fuck. I, I do need. Go <laughs> <laughs> um, to a regional too. So, uh, next question is again from oh no from six i six. Assuming you recycle correctly, how do you recycle your empty cardboard, plastic boxes, packaging, and bottles? Uh, do you squish everything so it takes up less room, allowing you to maximize your bin's capacity between pickups, uh, or just toss it into the <laughs> correct bin unsquished, because who gives a fuck? We all live in apartments, so we just throw it out, who gives a fuck? You put it in the, the community bins, and it's everyone else's problem. So, in my apartment, we have three rubbish uh, disposal areas, well, technically four. So the first one's a little box to put cardboard into, like, like you break up your box, you put it in. Okay. Uh, the next is like an odd laundry basket um, yep. where we put our empty bottles. Uh, we have obviously the normal bin where all the other stuff goes. And then because my brother drinks uh, canned beer and bottled beer, uh, he has the empty boxes where he puts in the cans and the bottles. Yep. Um, they all just stay there though. Yeah, for I was going to say, they live on your cockroach infested balcony. No, spiders. Sorry, a spider infested balcony. I knew there was some kind of bug. Yeah, not my fault, mind you. I don't put anything out there. My brother, uh, when he has company, hides it there saying he'll get rid of it later. Uh, the current amount has been there for two years and he hasn't moved it. That's way too long. I, I just yes. refuse to believe you don't have a brain snap like a clean. You know those moves where you just go, time to clean. My brother does yes, do that, but for every other area of the uh, apartment. Okay. Right, I just wouldn't sit right with me. Well, by all means, come over. <laughs> so oh. we have like 30 of each bin in our basement. And yeah, you that's. Just the... go and chuck your stuff in there. That's the other thing that kills me. Our apartment complex doesn't have nearly enough bins, ah. especially recycling. It doesn't have nearly enough recycling. We got tons of space. I went down there yesterday, and like, I'm always someone who breaks up my boxes. I got down there, opened the first uh, bin, and it was just one giant box. Yeah, since no one else does it. And I was like, no, oh. that shit drives me nuts. Okay. I've definitely like stood in those bins to crush stuff in before, though, because mm. it's been like, I leave my shit till Sunday, bins don't go out to Monday, so I'm last in line, I'm getting cucked. There are times when you get down there and every bin is full of it's like, mm. Look, if you're ever in Wollongong and want to dump stuff, hit us up in Discord. We've got tons of space. Yeah. Oh. As long as it's not Sunday. Yeah. But that does conclude us for this week. Thank That's you all it. very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Goodbye.